um, I guess we know that God is a loving God and uh, He allows us to go through these things. We don't like it. If I had my choice, I'd say, no, thank you, Lord. But um, for Let's some reason... Let's look at Becky today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just so She's we can... a sweetheart. ...have a good yeah. ending. Here yeah. she is a nurse today. A nurse. She's got one year left. It's going to be an RN. And was this choice impacted by her journey, her career oh, yes. choice? Oh, mm -hmm. yes. It was drastically impacted her, um, mm. I would say, because she is now ex knows being, uh, being a patient. What it's like it, to be on like. the receipt. And especially end. in yeah. oncology. So it was a um, big change. Wow. And mom, you've had a journey too with I cancer. <laughs> yes, I have. I uh, tried to ignore that, but <laughs> um, just um, a few years ago now, I had surgery, um, but it was not cancerous. They just said it was pre-cancer cells. So I did have Still surgery. Still pretty scary. It was very frightening. And, uh, uh, emotional. I just think of the emotional roller yeah, coaster. Yeah. These, that C word, it just keeps coming mm -hmm. into your life. Mm -hmm. But what's come out of your life, both of you, um, is such beautiful fruit. Uh, have you always been an artist, Barb? I have. I've been painting and drawing pictures since I was eight years old. And, um, now, I've always and a busy enjoyed... teacher of art. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I love teaching. I love teaching, especially kids. They're just wonderful to teach them art. So yeah, I have my own studio now, Art for the Lord. And, um, and uh, I always think it's, it's not the end result, it's always the process. We're just creating something and using it's our gifts. It's an act of worship, isn't it? It is. We're using As our gifts, paint. whatever they are, to, to glorify God. Look at this one. And you're going to have to tell us the finer <clears throat> points of what you painted in here. That is a painting I did for the Children's Wish Foundation. Um, it was a commission painting, and I worked through that, um, the idea of it, quite a long time. Um, the original, I I keep, I only sell the prints because there's too many tears mixed in with the paint. Oh. <laughs> so, but the idea is the, um, it's Nathan is sitting at the bottom um, on the floor there and you can see the IV unit uh, to the right where he was hooked up for months and months on end. Oh, yes. And um, we've got the shooting star through the sliding doors. It's a night sky there. And I've left, um, the curtain rod is empty because it casts a shadow of the cross on the floor from the sliding yes. door and the curtain rod. Yeah. It casts a sh so he's sitting actually at the foot of the cross praying and it's called a wish and a prayer. Oh. And uh, and that was the inspiration. I wanted to incorporate all of that in there. And so One of so many beautiful, beautiful paintings. I, I'm assuming we can see them at artforthelord.com. Yes. Yeah, I have my website and you can see them all on there. And mm -hmm. You know, I saw my first uh, Make-A-Wish family at Disney World this year. Mm -hmm. And uh, my heart was so touched. You went as a family. We did. It was really special. It was just shortly after um, uh, Nathan was feeling better. He had to be at a point where he can, you know, go there and enjoy it. And he was recovering. And so we all went down to Disney World. Um, initially, we just thought it was going to be just my husband and I and Nathan. And they said, oh, no, 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 we want the whole family. And then Nathan, Nathan asked the Children's Wish people, well, do you know how many <laughs> kids are in our family? And they said, yeah, we do know how many kids you guys have. <laughs> And they said it was no problem. They took care of everybody. Everybody welcome. We all went. It I want to bring such, Nathan on here. It was such a joy. The man whose uh, journey made it possible. Yeah, he Come said, on in here, Nathan. That was his desire for all of us to go. It was really sweet. How did you enjoy Disney World? Um, it was a lot of fun. Lots of fun. You're 11 today, grade 5? Yes. Good guess, eh? That's what <laughs> I remember, too. Nathan, long time in Sick Kids Hospital. Yeah. I understand you had a lot of visitors, made some friends there. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> and you, you have a heart that really goes out to the children who also are spending a lot of time there. Mm -hmm. And I understand you'd like to say a prayer for those children. Yes, please. Go ahead. All right. Um, Jesus, Lord, thank you for this wonderful day you've given us for all of us to worship you in all of your holy grace. and. Uh, I hope uh, you help the other kids and sick kids, not just sick kids, but in other hospitals as well. And please recover them as much as you can, for whom you are God and you can do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. And uh, we all uh, worship upon you. 
uh, to save us and help us out with stuff. And uh, we all love you with all of our hearts, and we commit our heart and our faith to you. Amen. 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 It's a joy to meet you in person, Nathan, mm -hmm. and uh, just the big, wonderful family that you are a part of. And the man who hasn't done very much talking here because we've had a mom story. It's, it's Mother's yeah. Day on Sunday, David. Yeah. You understand that, don't you? We needed to hear the mother's heart. Yeah. Um, you had, you, your words, a tsunami of response mm -hmm. the last time you were here talking about this unique, needed yes. ministry in places like Coca-Cola and Taco Bell and mm -hmm. uh, to have a resident, not necessarily a resident chaplain, but a, a consulting chaplain for the employees and all the things they might mm -hmm. go through. It's an idea that's really taken off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with uh, corporate chaplains has been going for some time now in Alberta and BC and I had the privilege of being able to be a, a pioneer for this ministry uh, for the past year in Ontario. And, uh, you know, God has answered those prayers, and it's been very exciting to see uh, footholds um, taken there. And we've seen, uh, we now are in a number of companies. We've got uh, about 15 people on our Ontario team alone. Uh, and on Alberta and BC are continuing to expand their operations. And more and more companies are coming on board saying, you know, we'd like to... Uh, uh, be able to come along and provide employee care for our employees. And the emotional dividends are just the selling point. Oh, in fact, it isn't even just emotional, it's, uh, it's, it's financial as well. I mean, mm -hmm. for the most part, when you have healthy employees, they, uh, they, they're more productive and they have less time uh, absent from their employment and they're more present when they are on the job. And as a result, uh, the, this is a, a role and a privilege that employers have that actually uh, will probably pay for itself over and over again. How can people find out more about this chaplaincy program? Yes, well the chaplaincy program is, uh, the website is www.chaplains.ca. And you've branched out into something, kind of an arm from this? Yeah, I've got uh, a, a, another organization, Power to Change, uh, has a, has a sub-organization called uh, Leader Impact Groups. And uh, I've been uh, brought on to be a, a director, uh, uh, area manager for that. And it just, it's a perfect uh, complement to the chaplaincy thing for me. So mm -hmm. it's a matter of uh, being able to come in alongside business people, professionals, men and women, and encourage them to come together for uh, weekly small group kind of gatherings and, mm -hmm. and training events and the like, and learning to be able to share their story in the marketplace. It's a tremendous uh, opportunity. It's beautiful to see the compassion and the worship that has blossomed out of all the trials that God was able to trust the Smith family with. Mm. It's a beautiful grace story. Thank you for sharing it with us. Mm. And there's something else I see here and I, I just want to reinforce that someone came alongside mm -hmm. when you were in that place of trouble and trial. And uh, we would love to do that for you. Our prayer lines are available right now if you need someone to encourage you today, to help you see light in the tunnel, and best of all, to pray with you. Take advantage of that. 